Good evening, everybody. Tonight, I'm really happy to announce a new release for the anime scriptor, the release of 0 0.1.6. Um, this release will contain mostly bug fixes and performance improvements. Not as many features as I would like to, to announce in a new release, but uh, the bug fixes al uh, alone and some small improvements on the script itself should allow for a much, much nicer user experience. In this release, you will now see a new option in the settings. There is the interpolate model. You can now select which interpolation model you want to use from the Rife um, method. Previously, it was using the Rife 4.13 version. It has been upgraded to 4.14, but I've also added a new option for 4.13 Lite, just in case if you have a lower end GPU. This is approximately 10 to 25% faster than 4.14 or 13 uh, for that matter. So if you case, if you have like a 1060 or 1080 Ti or something along the lines and you want to do a really high interpolation, but you don't want to wait for a long time, you're more than welcome to use the 4.13 Lite. Though 4.14 has a really, really good improvement in terms of warping. So the overall quality should be much superior. I've also added a new option for decoder. You will now see AV1 encoding as well as NVENC and AV1. Uh, for my own personal testing, if I can, yeah, uh, this is my own personal testing. This is X264 interpolation and this is AV1 interpolation. So roughly about 40-ish percent more compact for the same quality, of course. What does this mean? If you have a really large video, like a couple of minutes long, and you want to upscale it or do any form of like processing through the anime scripter, you should result in much lower, lower small, uh, file sizes for the same quality, of course. The performance improvements I've talked about, if you have seen the previous release, the previous video, the for the 0 0.1.5, you would have seen that the interpolation was getting anywhere in the neighborhood of 90-ish FPS. Now you should uh, top out, at least on my own system, of course, it, it stops out at around 115 to 120 FPS. That's roughly a 40% improvement. I do not have a upscaling, um, what is it called? Upscaling, uh, I forgot the word for it. An upscaling benchmark, so to say, on hand, but uh, that went up approximately two to three for FPS faster than previous releases. Uh, now, uh, interpolation, deduplication, everything should be so fast that the terminal doesn't even have time to open up. Just press the duplication, interpolation, and sharpening, and it's already done. That's a whole seven seconds clip, basically done in three seconds or so. I've also focused a lot on improving the startup times and uh, it should be, generally speaking, about one or two seconds faster compared to previous releases. Just a small example, you can see here in the left corner, it's 48 FPS and the original is 24 FPS, so it was doubled. Uh, yeah, another issue, rather unintended feature, let's say, uh, with previous releases what is the fact that interpolation factor would top out based on um, how much VRAM you had available. Now with this release you can do any value as you, as you want. It will not stop at anything. Just as a showcase let's do a f maybe 50 x is too much. Let's do a 10x because I also want to do it in time. So this is a 10x interpolation. Let's cut it at the one second mark. I don't have audio turned off, that's lovely. <clears throat> it should pop up the terminal and, oh, it's already done. So this is a 10X interpolation, 946, 20, 240 FPS in a matter of three or four seconds for a whole one second clip. Of course, you can use longer clips, you can use other values, you can do upscaling and whatnot. This is just the duplication, interpolation, and everything in between. Um, yeah, another feature that this release has is multi-layer support. What does that mean? Basically, you can now process multiple clips on in one all at once. Let's do upscale. Yeah, let's do upscale and sharpening we can now or you can now basically 
process multiple clips all at once without any issues whatsoever. Everything is going to work in memory past the first run, but it is done. Lovely. Okay, and now you can see the upscaled and non-upscaled clips. They've all been done all at once without any issues. Uh, yeah, I think that's mostly about it. Bug fixes, uh, performance improvements, and more features. That's uh, basically what this release contains. If in case you see any issues whatsoever, feel free to join the Discord server, and I'm going to be there to help you with anything that you might uh, run into. Have a wonderful evening. Goodbye.